Today's Valentine's Day, so we thought we would tell y'all how we got together. And on this cold, snowy day that we're just snowed in, no church, no nothing today. But Chris did get up and make breakfast this morning. Got me some candy. <laughs> so, we thought we'd tell you how we got together. We've known each other... I'm three months older than him. Oh, you know, you're not. six. Six months. I'm sorry. <laughs> She's a lot older. Six, six months older. And we were pretty much born in the same church. But. I was born in the hospital. <laughs> right. We went to the same church growing up. Yeah. But then my family moved off to the country. and His family stayed at that church. And, um. So we kind of broke away, but we knew mutual people. And my first memory of him, and I'm going to insert a picture of us in Sunday school class when we were little bitty tiny. Oh. But and he's holding a purse <laughs> in that picture. I want to be purse. She's holding. That's just real funny, ain't it? <laughs> yeah. And I'm in the green dress. But um, my first memory of him was. How were we? We was probably going to that point. Probably about six. Yeah. Seven years old. And tell what you. He didn't come to this church that we was going to, but he would come on Sunday morning because. Uh, on Friday evening, my grandmother would pick me up, and we'd always we'd go out to the farm. Me and my grandmother and my grandpa, grandpa, and we'd stay there Friday night. Saturday all day and Saturday night and we would go to their church on Sunday morning because it's it, the place that we went out in the country was over an hour away so we'd go to church at their church on Saturday uh, Sunday morning and then we'd go to our church on Sunday night so and if, if for some reason they always sat behind us and I remember him pulling and yanking my hair he don't remember it's, any it's of bull. this it's bull. It's none of it. that's it's my first memory of him now his first memory of me was probably not long after that. What about it's twelve? Yeah. And tell what you remember. I just remember going to the Kemp's, which lived up the street from her, up the road from them. And we went down there. Me and I don't know who was went down there with us, but they had some horses, and uh, I wanted to ride them because I never rode one before. So I just jumped on it and started riding it. My parents come down there. My mom's like, Chris, what are you doing on that horse? You, you, uh, you don't know how to ride a horse. I said, yeah, I know how to ride a horse. I see him on TV. You just pull it this way and that way, and that's the way they go. And that's what I was doing. <laughs> and, and it was working. So that's how he remembers now. I remember that same visit. They had a go-kart. I guess the camps or somebody had a go-kart. Or y'all brought it out or something. And I had gotten on the back of the go-kart and he was driving well he hit a little rock and I fell off and I remember I remember it like it was yesterday falling off and him turning around laughing and keep on driving see she remembers the hair pulling and she remembers the go-kart and no one else remembers it <laughs> so so I y'all please take whatever she says about me with a grain of salt I remember that true. so much like it was just, like it was just five minutes ago yeah right but then he went off. We was in different churches, of course, so we never seen each other until um, probably about 18 years old, 18 or 19 years old, um, we started going to the same church again. And uh, my mom goes, Christy, what do you think about that guy on the base? He sure is good looking. No, I always remembered See, she how can't Henry re was. She can't, she can't remember the how hard she was chasing me, but she can remember all the evil things that I supposedly done. And so, uh, I don't know, for some reason, there was going to be a Christmas play at another church, and uh, the whole youth group was going to go. Well, things kept happening, and people kept changing their minds. 
till it was just us that ended up going, just, just him and I. And we was like, well, yeah, we'll, we're going to go ahead and go. We're looking forward to it. So we went ahead and went. You want to tell about that? You can. You have a, a, a memory of an elephant. <laughs> so I don't know if you would call this official date because we were just going, you know, as a group of friends that dwindled down to just two. And uh, so he came to the house in his parents' car. And then we decided, hey, at the last minute, we'll take my car. So we went we headed to the play. Well, he had gone to the restroom during the play, and he came back, and he whispered to me. He said, I don't have my wallet. He had gotten gas in his parents' car and laid his wallet on the seat, and then, of course, left it at my parents' house. So afterwards, we went to Pizza Hut with a big group of other people, and I had to pay for our food. And then on the way home, I must have had a light out or something. We got pulled over, <laughs> and he didn't have his license. So, um, it was hilarious. And so the cop gave us gave him a little gave me a tongue lash. And why are you with this guy? I can't even have his wallet. But anyway. Um, paid you back as soon as we did. got to the house. He paid me back as soon as we got to the house. He, he pulled and I've been paying ever since then. <laughs> but how we officially got together, we just kept doing stuff together as friends. We, I wasn't interested. And, she couldn't um, help it. And then we just kept doing things together as friends. And then uh, I think it was right after Valentine's Day, he gave me a card. You're a friend, Chris Boatner. I still have it. And it was right after that that... Um, and he bought me a, a box of candy, and I still have the tin. It's a it's a tin box, and I still have it. I remember he he pulled it out from underneath his uh, truck seat, and uh, gave it to me just as friends, you know, in a card. But uh, by I would say right after that we started we started dating, and uh, we dated for about two years, and he told me he love me first and uh, uh, pretty much history we got married uh, in 96 and this was probably 90 what 30 you tell them you got the awesome memory what do you want to say I we read something last night on Facebook. It, it was kind of like a questionnaire and some of the things that you had to answer. You remember some of them? Yeah, it's like, where do you go when you go out to eat? Yeah. And we said we'd probably go out to a steakhouse, mm -hmm. roadhouse, or Papa Do's. <coughs> uh, who's the best driver? That's definitely me. Yeah. She can't. She's horrible. I drive slow. I, I like to drive. In the speed lane, in the left, impeding traffic, it's awful. She should, at times, have her license revoked. And he gets mad when he drives. He gets Very impatient. Mad. The most impatient of the two would definitely be, well, me. Uh, what about the, that's who cooks the best. Yeah. I think that's it's evil. probably a tie, toss up. Yeah, we like, we both like to cook. Um, we both have our specialties. Who said that they love each other first? Who was that? You. Me. Mm -hmm. uh, what was the other question? It's like, who, uh, who sings better? Yeah. That's me, her. Oh. No. That's me. Then, then uh, like, who... Uh, Goes to bed first. Who falls asleep first? I Goes would be to, you. Well, I'll, I'll really admit that. He, he's the up. morning person. I mean, when the alarm goes off, his feet hit the ground, he's ready to have a good day. No, I have to get awake for a little while. Some people don't know that 7 o'clock comes around twice a day. Anyways. Uh, who who uh, picks when we go out to eat? I thought the best. Toss up. Um, some of the other questions was already answered in that first part that yeah. they asked. So, all in all, I got oh, lucky. Who, who says that they're sorry first? Oh, that's him. 
yeah, I, I tend to hold a little bit of a grudge for a little while. Enjoy my grudge. <laughs> He's always sorry. He'll pray for me. Yeah. But hey. What? Hold my hand. <laughs> I don't do that. People are watching. <laughs> all in all, I, I'm the lucky one. Yeah. You're probably right. Yeah. I'm blessed. We've been married be 25 years next month. He spoils me rotten. Brings me coffee in bed. Makes breakfast a lot. He's he's a breakfast person. I'm, I can take or leave him. Uh, works hard. I've gotten to stay home with the kids ever since we had Christopher. So I've been home for 22 years. Well, 23. About 23 years. And uh, I'm blessed. He's a good Valentine. She's I'm blessed too. She keeps the house clean. Uh, does uh, takes care of the kids. Does the bills. Uh, runs a successful YouTube channel. <laughs> uh, I don't know why y'all love us so much. Well, we just want to tell our little story. We hope you enjoy it. <laughs> what it was. It's not real exciting. Yeah, it was fun going through it. I'd choose you again. It's no, it don't matter because you don't have no choice. I'm stuck with him. I tell him all the time, you're stuck with me. <laughs> I'm not going nowhere. I got it too good. So, y'all have a wonderful Valentine's Day with your loves. See you next time.